Hey Wildcats, can you believe it's already time to select your classes for the next school year? Yes, it is. And I'm Faith Abercrombie. And I'm Megan Townsley. And we're going to walk you through the process so you know exactly what to do. Right now in front of you, you should have a colored course selection sheet. We're being environmentally friendly, so an electronic copy of the course selection guide is also available on our school website. Speaking of the course selection sheet, did you know there's useful information in it like graduation requirements and A through G college requirements? There are also required and recommended classes to help you plan your schedule. If you're looking for course descriptions of all the classes, they can be found in the WHS Academic Planning Guide. There's a ton of information, so go check it out. Before you start filling out your course selection sheet, there are some things you should consider like do you want to take an honors or an AP course? Did you know everyone has the option of enrolling in a dual enrollment, honors, or AP course even if you haven't taken one before? A dual enrollment course allows qualifying students to earn both high school and college credit through Sierra College. An honors class is more rigorous than a college prep class, and in AP classes, you study college level curriculum. This can better prepare you for college and you can potentially earn college credit. These classes do require extra time, usually one hour a day, seven days a week, for studying and homework, so consider all your time commitments, like sports, extracurricular activities, and jobs when choosing the number of dual enrollment, honors, or AP courses you're planning to take. Maybe you're interested in a CTE Works course, previously known as ROP. These courses are also available to seniors. And sometimes to juniors. Our counselors will be visiting classes to give you more information about how to sign up. You can also schedule an appointment to talk to your counselor about CTE Works. Something really important is that if you want to take a CTE Works class, you will also need to request the course with the College and Career Center. WHS will have a preview day during the school day where students can choose classes to visit and to learn more about those classes. If you don't know the date, check out our school website or ask your teachers. Okay, let's talk classes. To get started, take a look at your course selection sheet. As you probably already know, each grade level has a few required classes you must take in order to meet graduation requirements. And don't forget that you need to take your foreign language, VAPA, and tech requirement. Once you have your required courses filled in, you will need to write in any additional classes you want to take. This might be a good time to check out the academic planning guide for course selection information and not just choose based on what your friends are taking. You should also consider your career and college goals and select classes that will help you reach those goals. Next, you'll need to choose your alternate classes. Why are these important, you may ask? In case your first choice electives are not available or do not work in your schedule. Pick wisely because you will most likely end up with at least one of them in your schedule. If you don't provide any alternates and one is needed, your counselor will place you in any class that's available. You do not want that to happen. Once you have completed your course selection sheet, you will need to enter your selections online through your student ARIES portal. That's right, you can only do this using your student account and you cannot do it using your parent or guardian's account. Let's walk you through the process. You will start at our school's website, whs.rocklandusd.org, and click on the ARIES icon at the top of the page. Then click on Go to ARIES. If you have never created a student ARIES account, click on Create New Account and follow the steps. If you run into issues, please see the secretary in the front office. Using your RUSD student email account, log into ARIES. Once you are logged in, hover over student info and select course request entry. And now you are ready to select your classes. I will demonstrate the two ways in which you can search for a class. The first way is by typing in the course name and clicking search. A list of choices will then appear. Remember, if you would like more information about a class, go to the academic planning guide. If you do not want that class, then click on the red X to go back to your choices. If that is the class you want, click on Request. That class will now appear in the chart to the left under the graduation requirement that it will fulfill. The second way is to search by subject. Just click on the drop-down arrow. You may select a specific subject or select Show All Courses and click Search. An alphabetical list of your choices will then appear. You may go page by page using the Next function or skip right to the page by clicking on a number. Select the classes you want by clicking on Course Name and OK. You will continue this process until you have all eight classes selected and three alternates. Remember, don't select a class more than one time. This includes your alternate classes. If you need or want to delete a class from your request, click on the red X and then OK. Once you have all eight of your requests selected and three alternates, click on View Course Request Details. You are now finished. 
See, that wasn't that hard. If you would like, you may use the computers in the library or the college and career center before or after school or during lunch to complete this step. Your selections must be entered by the date on your course selection sheet. After you enter your course selections through Aries, you need to turn in the course selection sheet. Your counselors will tell you where to turn them in. And if you don't know the date, just ask them. It will be considered late after this date and may prevent you from getting your first choice classes. Your counselors will meet with you during one of your history classes during the month of February to review your transcript and course selections. During these meetings, changes or corrections can be made to your selections if needed. Counselors are also available to meet with you individually in their offices throughout March and April to review all of your paperwork. And now, here's a topic nobody really wants to talk about. Although, we're going to talk about it, Megan. If you didn't pass a class required for graduation or through an A through G class, WHS expects you to enroll in summer credit recovery to earn your credits. If you need to sign up, applications will be available in the counseling office. Okay, that was a lot of information, so let's review some key points. Complete your course selection sheet and then pick your classes in your ARIES student portal. For information regarding courses, see the academic planning guide. Use course preview day as a way to learn more about the classes you might want to take. You have the option to take an AP or honors class, but remember a general rule of thumb is for each AP or honors class, the amount of homework is about one hour for seven days a week. So if you're thinking about taking four AP or honors courses, that's four hours of homework for seven days a week. And remember that every student will have the opportunity to meet with a counselor if they have any questions. Also, course selection information, including this fabulous video, will be available for you to review on our website, whs.rocklandusd.org. This has been a Whitney High School Counseling Department production brought to you in part by the Whitney Broadcast Program. Thank you for watching.